All right. So this here is CTR Crash Team Racing for the PlayStation 1. The goal is to beat the game and get 10 time relics and CTR symbols. The quest is given by Stigmore. And we've actually played this once before. As you can see here, we played it for 2 hours 21 minutes so far. So we're going to continue from there. I think it loads automatically. I hope it does, at least. Oh, we can load here. Wait, 39%? Is that really correct? Let's load it and see. Maybe we had a save state. I don't really remember actually. 39%. I think we were much further. Oh, no, this is actually where we were, yeah. Let's start these timers now. N Oxide's challenge. Yeah, it's very well made, these transitions. What the f- Cheater. Hmm. How did the controls work again now? Uh. There was something about- Hmm, I don't really remember. There was something you could do to gain speed, like a lot of it. I don't remember was it related to... If it was related to jumping or what it was. I think it was related to jumping somehow. Was it related to breaking? No. I mean, one of them was collecting these apples. Oh yeah, there was something related to that uh, that meter down there. But what was you supposed to do? I After you reached that meter for full, you were supposed to do something. Was it break? Hmm. Now there's so much shit being thrown about. gets speed from being shot. The yeah, 10 apples was max speed. So much I remember. Oh, what was that? The, the um, power slide meter for? I remember you could use it somehow. I don't remember what you were supposed to do exactly when the meter hit maximum. What's something you were supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is this is the 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 race journey from now on. Shit, he's throwing so much crap at me. That was bullshit. Oh, 
The hitbox is so goddamn generous. Oof. Oh wow, I'm very far behind right now. I mean, the game is not bad, it's just very frustrating from time to time. Did I get it that time? Because there's the boss is just throwing too much shit at you. And it's just frustrating. They just they stole the idea from uh, Diddy Kong Racing. What's so dumb about the bosses is that if you actually manage to get ahead of the boss, none of his items work anymore. It creates this really weird situation where like the boss is really hard as long as you're behind. But once you're once you're actually ahead of the boss, it is far easier. Chokes in is a douche. <laughs> I am pretty certain they... Like, wasn't Diddy Kong Racing released like half a year before this? Or like a year before it? And both of those games pretty blatantly stole a lot from Mario Kart. It was amazing how much game companies could develop in half a year back then. They could probably have stolen a lot in that time. So it was two years in between. Like then they could have stolen as much as they wanted, really. I mean, there's just too much shit on the stage. How was it I activated this power up again? The speed uh, booster. <sighs> what was this? Was it a shield? Oh, yeah, it is.
Yeah, exactly. You jump and then slide and then you do something else. Oh yeah, till the exhaust turns black. And then you just release it. Then press the other shoulder button. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the part that's so unintuitive. Like the other shoulder button. There you go. You just needed to figure out this power sliding thing. <laughs> or needed to be told it. <laughs> then I could actually beat this. <laughs> oh, the upskirt. <laughs> and the crack guys. I don't think it counts as an upskirt if the skirt is literally not long enough to cover anything. Uh, maybe you're right. We need to we need to consult the weeb master. Stigmore, what is your opinion on the matter? Oh, so we've beaten the game now. That didn't feel like a last boss. That close to the ending. But we still need to collect the 10 time relics and CTR symbols, so we're not done. Yeah, exactly. We need to collect those. Hello there, Princess Rika. Princess Rika. Let's see ya. This, this her effect they have on their animations doesn't work out as good as they think when the characters are moving fast. <laughs> it just gets really difficult to see anything. I think I really needed to scrape the bottom of the barrel to find enough crash characters to make a game like this out of it. Because like, you can literally play as the bear cub that appears in 
in a few places. I guess Diddy Kong Racing had to make up a bunch of characters too, so uh, that's fine. I'm not gonna hate on, on, on CTR, not that much. Can I skip this? I can. <laughs> it's cool and all, but come on. Do we get to save? Maybe? Or does it save automatically? Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. Now for these symbols and shit. How did that work? I don't remember. Oh, here's the save point. I hate and I have to beat him again? Why? What save? Oh. It did save. Can't come up with rules on the fly like that. The shits, her stages and stuff. Ah, oh, here's win. Oh, I need ten of them. I guess you need to keep heading back. Ah, oh, here we go. Sewer Speedway. Uh, CTR challenge, I guess. I don't remember how these were. I, I was just about to jump the penis, then it reached out and touched me. Yes, <laughs> about that. I don't remember. How did these work again? There's something about collecting some shit. I think. Hmm. R? Oh, CTR. Yeah, 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 that could be, that could be right. Oh, I found the R. There's the C. I just gotta find the T somewhere. And then I think I need to win too, right? God damn it. Something dumb like that. Ah, oh, there it is. Hmm. How do I get that one? This this power up actually the power up mechanic in this game feels very well once you've gotten hang of it. But before you have it feels really weird. Thank you. 
What? The worst part about the requirement that you have to win is the randomness of it. Since there's still other races around, that means there's weapons and shit around. What? Ah, fuck. And that means you can't just get screwed over by virtually anything if you're unlucky. <laughs> now, I didn't get hit by a weapon there, I know, but like... Adding those two requirements together... And a lot of rubber banding. Makes for a surprisingly dumb experience. Come on. You're probably right, like, kart games really do the best in multiplayer. Yeah, I'm with you, Jay. Uh, like, card games... They, they are so... It's so obvious that they're made for... For co-op. And when it's co-op, like, you can actually shout at your friends and kick them for being assholes. But when it's just an AI, it's just you and that feel-bad moment. <laughs> Getting your ass handed to you by something you couldn't affect. So close. Come on. Oh. 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 I remember one of the first stages of the game actually had one of the dumbest CTR tokens where you're supposed to go like completely out of your way to pick it up. I still had a, one of those relics. I don't remember what you need to do for that one. Get the lowest time you can by racing fast and breaking time crates. Each time crate you break will freeze the clock. If you achieve a low enough time, you will be awarded a relic. This feels like a pretty shitty mo mode. <laughs> to be entirely honest. You just need to go for the most difficult crates all the time. It 
how the shits do you get up there? I hope these respawns on the next lap. How do you get up there even? I figured there'd be something up there. Fuck. <laughs> Would be too easy. Uh, I guess. I guess I must be the only one. Oh, up there, there's a, obviously a way to go. Yeah, this is not gonna cut it. Close, but not enough. Erase it. Ah, it is. Ah. Huh. Ah. Huh. There's eleven of them that I didn't find. Like, how do you even get up there? an entire route that I like never figured out how to get to. No, not this cutscene. You turned a relic. Yeah. But these modes are just made to make you repeat stuff. Thirty-two crates. Man. Oh fuck! Not this trick. That is so dumb. That jump. I never really got how to get that thing.
No, that's... Hmm, 20 seconds. This is probably not gonna work out. Seven, five, three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Clutch, indeed. These are freaking tight. These are really tight. Hey, you earn a we, can, we can skip the crack, guys. We keep forgetting that. I just need to look for the yellow dots on the map. I really should have done these just when I had actually done the, the main races, I think. Because then I wouldn't have to go back and like play them again now. When I don't remember them anymore. I don't know how many you have. You see that whenever you gain one. I had two now. Well, that was unfortunate. How do you... what? It really feels like you're moving super slow since you don't have any apples, I think. It's gonna be another really tight one. It's probably a lot because I haven't figured out how to get to those up there. I missed a lot of boxes, this one. Yeah, I can't see myself making this. Yeah. And one more one second box. I would have made it. I guess I should more, probably try to use slides more power slides. Like using power slides feels so risky in this mode. Because whenever you power slide, you lose a lot of control. That makes it really hard to hit the correct boxes. Thanks. 
Thanks for the helpful tip there, Roar. <laughs> of course, why didn't I think of that? Get the power slide, damn it. I already think I'm better off. Although I don't have the three second box left over here that I had last time. So I am by no means safe. Also this angle is really weird. Yeah, all right, this is... No! God damn it. <sighs> Slides in these games are always weird. Because the angles are not... obvious that you're gonna get thrown in. Slightly less power slides, yeah. <laughs> I could figure out how to get to those up there. I did miss a lot of boxes there. I missed boxes and I didn't get a power slide in. attempt. Hey, I got one of them. Finally. Close again. One and a half second. I do, mostly because I have some handsome facial scarring, life altering. <laughs> I didn't know that. Interesting fact about Geekbot <laughs> attractive facial scarring is apparently one of the features.
really have to find a way to reliably get the ones up high there. Come on! Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Getting the power slides... Sometimes it's really hard. It's supposed to be a winking face. <laughs> At least I got a little height that time, so... Could have sorta of gotten it. Getting the small power slides, but it's better than nothing. At least a pretty good attempt, I must admit. This time I should be able to get it uh, with a margin. Jesus. <sighs> yeah, that was a pretty good attempt. <laughs> oh, damn, that one was difficult. That was really difficult. No! Oh. Please tell me I got to keep it. <laughs> I think I did. I should have. Yeah. Great. You earned a relic. I was definitely going to do literally anything else, but then you didn't. Yeah, I, I've come to realize, I sometimes try to tell myself that I can code well while watching a stream, but I can't. Like, if I open a stream, I know that I can't, I can't be as efficient as, a, as I could be if I didn't. Like I can I can play games and have a stream on in the background, but I really can't uh, have a stream up and do something that requires like mental attention. I just can't. The mystery games, yeah. Some some fun competition for change. I think I actually prefer the time challenges. Because at least they were, like, on my own. So where is the relic here? I really hate those. how difficult they are to time. I didn't even see the other token. Pass it on. 
Where could it be? Well, there was a branching path. <laughs> Over here, so maybe it's on this side? No. Where the heck is it? Wait, where did that one come from? No, but you usually at least see them, right? Oh. oh, there it is. Wait, how did I not see that one? to catch up. Come on. What? <laughs> there was nothing there. Nothing. Yeah, man, this mode is so fun. <laughs> I must have got a hit in by something that jumped up behind me, so the camera clipped it away. Must have been it. Not that bad. I have to freaking dance in circles to get these relics. And I still need to win in the end. Although the relics are not that far out of way, I guess. Getting that shield there, we're incredibly lucky. Huh. I really wonder how I missed that T. Get hit. Uh, shit like that. I was just about to say when that bomb rolled by, watch me get sniped here. gonna keep replaying until you get lucky. <sighs> I 
really want to finish this thing and then end this other day. What about the hitboxes of those dumb things? I freaking touched it, I know it. But it didn't register. God damn it. Things are basically blue shells. Hitting that C is much harder than it looks. This hitbox is really small. Now we just have to go for this win. Oh, we made it. Of course. We get an item, I can't affect him. I mean, I got run over by another one and or run past by one more anyway, so it didn't really matter in the end, but it is hella annoying. Like, the thing is, rubber banding in C CRT is much worse than many other card games. In most other card games, you can actually establish like half a lap lead. But in this game, it's just impossible to do.
Also, the way these crates works is so annoying. Because if you're not in the lead, you can't pick up crates. Which means you can't catch up. There's no way I'm catching up to whoever's ever first here. It's just too much of a difference. Uh. Alright, last try, then we'll end it. So that too made me pick a shitty character on top of all of this. What a friend you are, huh? I, I try to go for the, the apple boxes every like everyone I pass. But I can't pick up Almost any of them. I know. Thank you, game. Can't I, like, get to... Just, like, play out... Oh. Yeah, I, I know I can shoot bombs backwards. Oh. Ah. What the fuck is this? It's like some kind of sick joke. And of course it comes in a second blazer. So damn frustrating. I don't deserve this treatment. I'm done for the day. I'm done for the day. Yeah, this is this is just dumb. Oh no. So frustrating, so goddamn frustrating. <laughs> oh, we'll need to continue that one another day.